Fantastic. So we moved um, roughly about a month ago when the, the proper move with boxes and, and everything. We just feel home and extremely welcome. And that is, I think, unique um, really to this um, to this foundation. There's a fantastic atmosphere of community and uh, sense of uh, belonging. Our group works on immunology, so we deal with our immune system, what classically people look or call or learn in, in simple textbooks as the so-called um, uh, white cells, white blood cells, right? That's what we're interested in. White blood cells are extremely important for a variety of processes in our daily lives. I mean, they are the cell types that will allow you to recover from flu, they are the cell types that allow you to fight your own cancer. Um, but they, you know, if they are deregulated, they're also cells that can cause you extremely harm. So they are responsible for some sorts of diabetes, they can be responsible for obesity, they can be responsible for um, uh, chronic inflammation in the joints, in the intestine. So it is a system that is very important for general health, but it has to be tightly regulated. Now, this is what we've, we, we've been studying over the years. We've been studying these white blood cells, and we realized some years ago that white blood cells in the nervous system actually communicate between themselves. Not only do they communicate, but in, they influence the function of each other. And this is very important in the context of disease, in particular, at sites, we call them mucosal sites, so in the intestine, in the lungs, in the mouth, in the reproductive tract. And these interactions are very important um, because they are capable, after their interact, to sense aggressions of the system that are, that are um, a cause on our bodies in a much more efficient manner. So in other words, we have this idea that um, the nervous system can allow us to interact with the outside world, which is true. But the same thing happens with the immune system. So the immune system deals every single day with a lot of challenges and aggressions. But we never get ill thanks to our immune system. Now what happens at these mucosal surfaces is that the immune system and the nervous system join forces together. So whatever the immune system senses communicates to the nervous system and vice versa. And this symbiosis, the synergism between the two systems, actually ensures health. And that's in essence the concept that we've introduced in, you know, in terms of uh, science and the way we um, uh, understand how mucosal organs um, uh, function, um, is that in fact this um, association that we call neuroimmune uh, association has actually its own functions is absolutely critical and this is something that you know even three four years ago we had no idea about no clue whatsoever so for us uh, you know moving here was almost a logic step you know with a very profound and very important um, immunology background jumping into neurosciences but having a fundamental interest in cancer and chronic inflammation that is one of the major uh, conse consequences of, of, of cancer So it's, I, I would consider it really a world-class center for biomedical research um, with a fantastic community working already very well established on neurosciences um, and that for us is a very important uh, field that we're getting pretty much interested in if we come from a slightly different angle um, and um, uh, also a very important aspect is that you've got at the same site fundamental basic research and patient care and for us that's really critically important um, since people in the lab or in our group they're working behind the bench but always trying to tackle problems um, that at the end of the day touch people and you know people matter and we're doing this for promoting health